Scrappers, Boost here again. So today we're going to be scrapping a, a few different things. Uh, first off, we're going to be scrapping a lawnmower. Um, most people just bring these as is to the scrapyard and get light iron price, but there's usually several pounds of cast aluminum in them. Um, as long as you make sure to drain all the liquids out before you bring it in, you'll make a lot more money if you take it apart. Of course, you know, selling working parts will make you more money. Um, but if it doesn't work, you can always scrap it. All right, so whoever owned this lawnmower before, um, there's actually two lawnmowers. One of them is over here. That one, I actually got it to work again. Uh, if you check out my DIY Daddy channel, If you check out my DIY Daddy channel, um, <clears throat> you can see how I got that other one to work by giving it a tune-up and cleaning out the carburetor. Uh, it's really easy. The whole thing took less than half an hour. Um, so I got a free mower. That works just fine. Alright, so this one, the uh, previous owner was tinkering with it. Uh, didn't quite put it all back together, so the carburetor's out, which is you know, fine by me. There's uh, You have the, um, the bowl nut which is usually brass, and then the rest is usually cast aluminum, a little bit of plastic. Uh, you might want to take the, um, uh, the needle out. That'll be made out of steel. Right, so first piece, the handle here. Quick tip before you start this, you want to make sure you disconnect the spark plug, because turning the blade might actually make it start. So we're going to want to take the blade off first. And underneath the blade are these bolts that mount the motor to the motor. Alright, so these blades are made out of a high quality steel. There's a lot of people who use these to forge other things. Um, there's a guy on YouTube who makes tomahawks, some guys make knives out of them. It's just a really good quality steel, so if it's not rusted too bad, then you might be able to find someone who wants these. Alright, so we've detached the mower deck. So here is white iron for you. So now most of this is going to be, you know, like I said, cast aluminum. Uh, but when in doubt, take your magnet to it. Nothing sticking, except maybe the bolts. Alright, so let's start taking plastic off. <clears throat> Alright, now a piece like this is a good example. Um, this gas tank, I mean, it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Maybe you put some armor all on it. Um, but it doesn't leak, so you could sell this on eBay. You probably get, you know, 10, 15 bucks for it. So something to, to look out for. You know, if you have pieces like this that you know work, I mean, they'll, they'll scrub up and look just like new. Um, so keep an eye out for these. Keep your keep your mind open, and you can make all kinds of money on different pieces. And here as well, this other piece right here, I mean, there's no damage to it, so you clean it up, you turn around, you can see if you can sell it on eBay. Alright, let's chunk a light iron there. So this piece, it's all cast aluminum, that's a good pound right there. Put the piston in here, the piston's going to be cast aluminum as well. Alright, so this part right here that the spark plug connects to, um, there's actually some copper windings in there. You can throw this in with your copper bearing motor pile.
<sighs> this thing is a real pain in my ask yourself this is all this aluminum worth it I think so all right so this wheel is irony aluminum it's got cast aluminum on the outside but the inside is steel all right so now All right, so that's it for scrapping a lawnmower. Um, so I've got tally up the, the math after reviewing the video. I forgot some of the numbers. Um, but as you can see, you're going to make a good eight bucks in scrap. So it's much better than the light iron price. The light iron price alone, you would probably make two dollars, three dollars. So is it worth taking apart? It's a little time consuming, but you'll make more money. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Oh, and here's a shout out to Vaughn Scrapper. This kid can expect big things from him. He's a, just a, a little guy who's starting scrapping on his own. He's a teenager. And he's already starting. So that's, that's a great sign. So check out his channel. I'll put a link to it in the description. And comment, like, subscribe. See ya.